Welcome to Thoughts on the Market. I'm Ellen Zittner, Morgan Stanley's Chief U.S. Economist. Along with my colleagues bringing you a variety of perspectives, today I'll discuss the outcome of the June Federal Open Market Committee meeting and our outlook for the U.S. economy. It's Thursday, June 22nd at 10 a.m. in New York. Hawks and Doves entered the battlefield at the June FOMC meeting, wrangling over the extent to which further rate hikes might be needed and how forcefully to convey that. As expected, the FOMC held rates steady at 5.1% and maintained a tightening bias in the statement. But it's also important to note that the statement included an ever so slight change in language that made further rate hikes seem less certain. So in all, this suggests the Fed could raise rates later this year, although when thinking about the very next meeting, we think the bar to hike in July is much higher than market pricing implies. Now, in the new summary of economic projections, which is made up of Federal Open Market Committee participants' projections for things like GDP growth, the unemployment rate, inflation, and the appropriate policy path, FOMC participants revised up the policy path for this year by a full 50 basis points. So that would imply two more 25 basis point rate hikes. They also lifted their growth projections for this year, they revised down the unemployment rate, and they revised upward their core PC inflation forecast. So all in all, that's a summary of economic projections that skewed very hawkish. Now, we find the upward revision to core PCE most perplexing, as incoming data on inflation had been in line with the Fed's forecast, and especially as key measures of core services inflation have consecutively softened. Now, in relation to our forecasts, we think this sets up core inflation to fall faster than Fed currently projects, which should offset the takeaways from a higher peak rate in the dot plot. The core inflation projection for this year and the level of the Fed funds rate could get revised downward by the time the FOMC meets in September. In our latest outlook, we continue to see a soft landing for the U.S. economy this year, with inflation and wages slowly easing, as well as job gains. Now, consistent with this expectation, we continue to look for the Fed to hold the peak rate at 5.1% for an extended period before making the first quarter percent cut in March 2024. Like the Fed, we have to be humble here, and we do see the effects of banking stresses on the economy as highly uncertain, and we'll hone our expectations for the economy and monetary policy as the incoming data unfold. Thanks for listening. If you enjoy the show, please leave us a review on Apple Podcasts and share thoughts on the market with a friend or colleague today. The preceding content is informational only and based on information available when created. It is not an offer or solicitation, nor is it tax or legal advice. It does not consider your financial circumstances and objectives and may not be suitable for you. 